What are we going to talk about today? Oh, you didn't plan anything? Oh, no. No, we have some stuff. We have some stuff. But Wait. first off, I wanted to start off by saying how much I appreciate you guys and the fact that we have a big family that actually talks to each other and doesn't hate each other. So oh, that's nice. We're going to talk. We're, I'm just, I just want to throw happened? that out there. <laughs> no, because I was thinking about and I was imagining like I feel bad for people who are only like single <laughs> children. Because if you're a single child, then you probably always wish you had siblings. But if you have siblings... Yeah. You very rarely wish you were a single child, unless your sibling happens to be like a deranged crackhead. I which, mean, I don't know. I which like, Kennedy can become at one point in time. She is living in New York. I feel like when you're a single, wait, child, I wasn't listening. You don't know any different. I said, yeah. I said, there's a high chance that not a high chance, but there is a chance that you might become a deranged crackhead at some point in Why? the future, given you you live in New York. Why? No, did you hear the part where he was thanking us? You missed us? everything I said. I'm not repeating myself. That's did, a one you, time a year wait, thing. Wait, she didn't miss that. Did you miss that? Yeah, when I did. I was for being here. Okay. I said I said I appreciate you guys. And okay, then, then I you said, didn't really miss anything. I said when you're a single child, you always wish that you have siblings. But when you have siblings, you rarely wish that you were a single child. Mm -hmm. And then I said, unless one of your siblings is a deranged crackhead. So if you ever become a deranged crackhead, then maybe my mind will change but right now that would just wouldn't i appreciate you happen to me and also most of the time the reason that happens to people is untreated mental illness and my mental illness is being treated so okay that's good well let's keep treating it okay <laughs> okay <laughs> yes so here, i have a question you planned this whole thing last time and it went really well why didn't you do that again he didn't ask. Claudia is a one and Claudia is a one pump chomp. Wait, you didn't ask why. her to do the last. I figured one. he was planning it. If he asked me again, can you continue no, to do we, it? We, I we, we we planned it. Don't worry. Oh we wait, actually, didn't you ask people questions? Yeah. So Corey in the last podcast put a phone number in the description that people could call, and we recorded right. their messages. So we're gonna play them at random. But wow, that's for the really? end of the thing. That shouldn't be the whole at episode. random. Oh, what if it's like something mean? I mean, then and we'll address it. That's what it is. We'll address it. Yeah, we'll find where they live. We'll go to their house and we'll just beat the shit out of them. <laughs> okay, you know? sure. No, I'll just put it. I'll just put a witch's spell on them. Yeah, don't mess around with my mom. She has so many voodoo dolls in her house. The other day, so I can't remember what it was, but um, oh, what was it? Something was happening, and I was so upset up with somebody. But it was like a, a random person. And then Dakota said, <laughs> "She goes, oh my god, what are you doing?" And I like closed my eyes and I like wished something she goes did you just Hex wish them? a bad spell on them and i was like actually and i opened my eyes i was like yeah i did how, why how did you know that she's like you like closed your eyes and went somewhere and i was like oh no i think i remember what it was now wait oh yeah it was a hacking thing it was a hacking thing because oh, you ordered your game and you didn't get your game <laughs> yeah 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 that's exactly what it was so you tried to I, hack I ordered, somebody I'm Kennedy, sorry. remember That's I hilarious. told you I ordered that party arcade thing and yeah, it was and too it was good to be true. Oh, I knew that was bull. Too I good to be it. true. Because I, I was like, there's no way that thing's $80. No, it was 50. 50, yeah, 50 bucks. They gave me 25 basically off. it was this huge, like Pac-Man machine yeah. you mount to your wall, like a really nice one that yeah. we saw at this party we went to. And then my mom tried to buy it and it was like $50. I found on one for $50. Why don't but, you just buy the TV plug-in thing that's probably like... Because I wanted the one on the wall. I wanted mounted on the wall. I'm going to still get it. But Walmart has it for like over $300 or something. It's just yeah, like... If you really want to just get it. But but listen, so the, the, the when we went back into it, because it was only 50 dollars and i used paypal and paypal usually backs everything they give me my money back right away but when i looked at it and i complained to them and i saw the person's name i was it was like megan something and i'm like closing my eyes seeing something about something bad happening to megan and then How i realized oh listen but then i realized in that moment that it wasn't megan somebody stole megan stuff oh poor megan now she's hacked. so Wait, she's had this from she thought it was Costco, but you can't order. You went to a from, fake Costco website. Yeah, but you can't order from Costco unless you have a membership. I'm pretty sure. Like, like I, I kind of got them. had in a way. I kind of yeah, got scammed, but I didn't. Well, how did you knew. find out you got scammed? It never came. Yeah, well, and, and Dakota said, "Go back and look at the email. Did you get an email for it?" And I'm like, "Yeah." So I went back to it, and she takes all these like hacking classes because she works for the government. So she's like, looked at it. And she's like, "Look, no email has numbers in it like this." And I was like, "Come on, oh." You so know, I you know this. I, I emailed them, and I'm like, "Oh, great. Now my 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 data's leaked. It's but okay. I got it's been leaked. So who cares?" I got scammed off of a girl on TikTok that was making these little, these cute little like knitted animal things like stuffed animals remember you ordered them oh, too yeah. yeah and she posted on tiktok and was like trying to like 
raise money or something. And I was like, oh, I'm going to order two to help her. I order them. They never come. Wait, did I ever get it? Oh, we got my money back. Yeah. And I had to like, it was on Etsy. And I'm like, okay, so she was like either faking it and just trying to steal people's money. Yeah, I really wanted my little stuffed cow. Claudia is so generous with her money. She's always donating to people, but (laughs) it's actually just going to like fake hacking funds. It's like when you know, I was like, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before somebody takes advantage of Claudia's generosity. I'm sure. I'm sure at this point they have, but I mean, I always just try to give people the benefit of the doubt. Also, I usually only donate to like big reputable things that I know are actually like they actually help people. Like I have like a monthly donation going to one foundation. And like usually if I anytime I like get the chance, I'll donate to like Doctors Without Borders or um, what's that? Exactly what it is. Doctors Without Borders. Well, okay, Claudia, she was going to other house. countries to help. Oh. You, you know, she put stuff outside of her house for the UPS guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, the yeah. freaking a fox ate it all. Well, well, listen, well, a fox ate it, but I imagine like one day a homeless person is going to find that you do this and he's going to show up at your house. That? But then one day you're just going to turn into a soup kitchen. You're going to put this stuff outside your house. They're going to tell all their homeless friends. They're all going to be lining up at Claudia's house looking for well, free snacks. One day drinks. I. It's good shit. In the winter, I did a hot drink station. So I did hot water with like packets of hot chocolate, instant coffee, creamer. And the FedEx man loved it. He was like so I'm excited sure. to if see I was that. A, if I was a it was FedEx just man, I'd love out. it too. And like, I try to think like, what would you want when you're like <laughs> working constantly outside? I was going to do cold drinks and stuff. And, and right now there's no snacks out there because the freaking fox stole like five packs of Alani gummies and ripped them open across the yard. <laughs> And then you should put like a thing for like fox food and then another one no, for I think, deer I think on and the then next, another one for the FedEx man. No, we need deer repellent. And then once for cats, for you you guys. cat food out there. Are you guys ever together yes. and you just like think about how much better it would be if I was there? Yes. Should we be honest? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> of course. Yeah. It would be much Why better if you were. Kenny's looking at us through her eyebrows. Well, 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 sometimes <laughs> I sometimes I think about it though. I do think about it. And then I also remember how much fun you're probably having with your friends because Scarlett's there and I saw you. Is Avery there too? She has her own um, I would feel I would feel a lot more bad if I knew you were just like sitting in your house doing nothing. But when I I feel like I don't yeah I don't think too much about it in that way because I like know that you're happy. Like if you weren't then I would feel really bad but Yeah like I feel better and more like content in a sense when I I know you're with all your friends. Do you ever Does that make sense? I'm going to turn it around. Does that make sense, mm-hmm. Kenny? You don't look happy. Okay, good. Do you ever sometimes wish well, no, that that's, you were that's... sitting with us? <laughs> yeah, but not, not. <laughs> but I don't. But wish not I really. I don't wish I was back in Towson. Literally, ever, ever. I could never set foot. Well, in no. Again, what I... if you were? What if you had your own like house? Yes, and all the time. You were I closer literally, by, and I literally was crying about it the other night because I missed you guys so much. Aww. Uh, but I don't, uh, I don't, I don't miss Maryland. I miss, I was going to say that I, I'm wanted to come stay for two nights at Claudia's house at the end of the month when Rooster gets back mm-hmm. from camp and Scarlett is, would just stay here and watch the cats and take care of them. Well, l- listen to this. Kenny must've been at a point of real desperation here because she, she sent me a message asking if I could watch her cats for four days. Oh my God. <laughs> what? So, no, I said, I said cats. you and Kate. And I, I yeah, said that because well, I was like, you guys would get a free, you get to a free place to stay in New York. Like who would, I don't know. It seems true. like a good, o- a good offer. Well, Kate, Kate what would, would you do be it? doing? Yeah. Would because, you be coming here? Because No, we wanted to, uh, Avery's, Avery's sister is renting a, a beach house in Newport in California. And there's like nobody staying at it right now. And we wanted, we were talking about maybe doing that. Have you ever considered taking your cats on the plane? No. I hope not. Why? I would you can, lit- oh, that's Cause how many? You that two? is so stressful for that's them. So you know how that is? Animals, that's literally they have a heart attack. Exactly. And I also that would stress me out. I would be so stressed out and I already get stressed about Ugh. flying. Yeah, that's so. horrible. Yeah, but imagine if you condition them well as travel cats. Ugh. You no, can I do don't anything. Want to that. I think a, a plane is bad enough for humans. And then you have to literally. worry about getting like their litter and food and everything. I like planes a lot. Because when I'm on a plane, I can't think about anything else except like the plane okay well like, you're a man the best ideas on planes you're a man mm-hmm. and men think about 
that men have very different brains from women. So what do what do men think about? Tell me. Uh, work and food. Women think about that too. I know a lot work of yeah. brand is women who only women care think, about work. Yeah, women think about that while they're also thinking simultaneously thinking about probably a hundred other things. Women's mm. brains are like men's brains are like Okay. Have you have you been a man? Do you know? Oh, it's scientifically proven. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. I thought you said she was more slightly part man. She is more masculine. But like not, so not not outward not outwardly masculine but she has masculine qualities i think i do too yeah you do you're commanding a commanding you mean demanding De- no commanding, commanding. And listen, demanding. To this. Demanding. <laughs> listen to this this is from telegraph.co.uk women tend to be better at reading comprehension and writing ability on average and have good long-term memory conversely men seem to have stronger visual and spatial awareness and better working memory that's true I'm yeah, constantly well, ra- I'm constantly ramming into things. I could I could do a study in the <laughs> basement and and come up with some study and post it up. That is so true. Where, where did you find this study? Um Where did you where did you find this study? Multitasking women New are better at, women are better at multitasking, interpreting emotions, intuitive thinking, analyzing and drawing conclusions. Men tend to have Yeah, w- w- women are better keeps, at multitasking. They keep saying visual and spatial awareness, which I guess plays into sports. Oh, Kate Better told me about memory. this, actually. Listen, listen. Kate told me about this that I didn't know existed, uh, but it's called um, uh, we- weaponized incompetence. Mm-hmm. So do you know what that is, mom? Yes, that's okay, what men so, do. Yeah, so, so, so basically, listen, listen, listen. I'll, I'll describe it to you. Oh. So basically, uh, in like, let's say you're in a relationship with a guy and the guy purposely pretends that he doesn't know how to do something. Oh, yeah. So you'll do it. So he'll yeah. be like, yeah, I don't know how to do Yeah, laundry. like cooking. Like, or he'll it up on like purpose cooking or cleaning yeah he'll ruin the food even mm-hmm. though he kind of knows how to do it or he'll like or he'll do the laundry wrong so you're like i'll just do it yeah and they just Definitely. sit around like a f- blob jesse would try that on me and you know what <laughs> he realized real quick that doesn't work <laughs> wait listen to this um, listen many to this. things according to science date According to Science Daily, men have about 6.5 times the amount of gray matter related to general intelligence as women. <laughs> you what, have what, more gray, gray matter, matter in your brain. Account for? It's just like oh, the part of your brain that doesn't work. Yeah. I thought I thought it's a good thing. It means your brain's bigger. And I think women, white matter is women good. use more of their I brains. Know, I don't know what that do they? I'm gonna find an infographic. Like Brandon, Brandon black I'm gonna find I'm gonna find an infographic so that your male brain can understand. <laughs> is there black well, matter? Well, here's the thing. No, Great women, women might matter. use more of their brains because I think women have like 90% of their cognitive processes allocated towards like emotion. It's not true. No, it is. W- women are naturally more emotional. There's some men who some are super men emotional. Some are very emotional. But on average, like like, no, like I agree with that. I agree with each other and on a completely different plane than men. Like men will just be like, hey, bro, like it's fine. I like, agree. Like, yeah, but in their head, they're like. like gray matter is Okay. It, okay. Oh. Gray matter is critical to functioning normally. And what men have more gray matter? Is that was that the study, Kennedy? Yeah. And that's why you contradicted can do yourself. Like walk around and not run into tables. Well, men are actually more coordinated. <laughs> Because like, that's like why shooting I, bow and arrows, I could shoot a bow and arrow way more accurate than any of you because mm, that's just a man, you know? Mm, I don't know about that. The yep. last time we went, your arrow went flying like in the weirdest directions. When? When was that? When we went to the Renaissance Festival. Okay. That was a bad arrow. Those arrows at the Renaissance Festival. Get <laughs> You're blaming on the like arrow. A I can imagine that. So look at this. I mean, it, well, I'm not even. You have to hold it up. You j- Just look at. Is the, is the man one on the right? Is the man on the orange brain? The, no, but it says the the male one looks like it's taking up more, but the the connections run between the front and the back parts of the brain. So they're going like that. And it says typical female brain, many more neural <laughs> connections go to go from side to side. Scientists say this could account for women's better verbal skills and intuitive abilities. So the male brain's going back and forth and the women's more going side to side. So we literally That's think why women were picked to get pregnant. That's why we're chosen, the chosen ones to be pregnant and have babies because men would never be able to do that. But it's like, mm-hmm. that's it's a just hard thing. Our brains are, we're genuinely a different species. Like our brains work differently. 
And that's why sometimes mm-hmm. we struggle to understand each other. I have a scenario for you. Okay. If it was mandated that all men had to go through a birth, like a really, like a <laughs> virtual reality birth simulator that like was the real experience. Like you're pregnant, you have a vagina, like you're pushing out like a human and they had to go through it. Do you think that would be a good thing for society? Yeah. I think it'd be great, but yeah. I don't think they could handle it. No. All the men that I've ever and had. And if you tap out, if you hit like the button, then it would be on your like ID card. So like if you're a woman, you could like go and go to a guy and be like, show me your card. You'd be like, <laughs> No. And they would show you your card and would say fail the, the birth. I the feel birth like pain exam. Every, every woman on this planet, I feel like, is capable of enduring the pain that comes with birth beca- because like it's a horrible, horrible version of period cramps and we've all experienced period cramps. Oh, I it's think bad. Um, yeah, but also every birth is completely different. True. Like some people have horrible, painful experiences. Yep. Some women have near death experiences. Some just pop them right out well, it's one of those experiences <laughs> like where you nothing. can't you can't hit like a stop pain button you just have to you have well, to just I mean, suffer you can get it. an epidural so yeah you can well, feel yeah, no pain, I guess. But sometimes they don't work fully sometimes mine you're already too dilated to get one yours didn't mine didn't there's mine so didn't. many something. factors that go into i learned something listen to this so back then in like the stone ages or actually this was like before like maybe before like 1500s or something women would give birth standing or squatting oh yeah i can like pick, i can see like that. this some like, yeah. like kind of like do. you're taking they see yeah, some people still do that yeah. yeah and then what happened is there was like apparently some king who didn't like the way women were giving birth because it looked animalistic so he wanted women to lay in beds like that and with it covered so you couldn't see so it didn't okay, look as, as animalistic okay so how do you as a man this is, why would a man how do you say how that? do you how do you as a man read something like that? How does that make you feel? I think women should start squatting and plopping them out again. But, but gravity just, pulls it down that's too. That's a perfect example. Oh, no, no. I think that's... Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely how about, wrong. How about men shouldn't have an opinion because they're not the one doing it? Well, I mean, if it works better and it's more comfortable for women, I don't care. Whatever it should is the be, better Yeah, option. it should be like whatever is... The, which is different for everyone. Some people might be more comfortable laying down, especially if you get an epidural or if... You, there's so many positions now that... Birthing positions. I just can't in. believe the things that happened to babies and women back then because before doctors and, and like cutting them out or whatever safely, like the cord would be wrapped around. Like I would have lost two babies. I probably would have been dead from you. I would have been dead. I definitely would have mm-hmm. been dead from you. Wait, how does that work? Would they have saved me or you? <laughs> I don't know because they would have had to cut you out. So I guess they all could the, save all you period, and not me. All the period shows I watch, when that happens, they let the, the woman die and they save the baby. Y- you know, it used to be considered like a horrible illness to be pregnant. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, then, like no, way back, way back. Was it though? Because like people scary. got pregnant like 15 times. Very like scary. Like if you're living you know? on a farm yeah, and but you need it, some workers, but you also, just pop out kids. The percentage of women surviving that, it, it was like you know, hit or miss. It's like, oh, I'm going to get pregnant. I hope I don't there's, die. Yeah, there's so many complications you can get with pregnancy that I don't, I don't even think people realize how many there are. No. It's well, well there, there's actually a huge uh, problem with um, like population right now. Like Korea, for example, isn't having enough kids to support the the country. So basically for every 100 people that exist right now, there only be like four great grandchildren. It, like will, so it will reduce any, that much. Did, I feel like, did we get any voicemails? She, you, you need to like control your brain in this situation. Well, you're I'm so ADD. I zoned, I zoned out a little bit. So if I zone out, then I want to do something else. Okay, go drink like a coffee or something. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not working. You, you need something stronger. You she's need one of these energy immune. drinks. You have crack. It's a caffeine now. Yeah, what the? F-? She never drank coffee, and now she's drinking coffee, and it's not doing anything. Okay, we're just winging this. We're just playing your guys' voicemails. If you want to leave more voicemails, then uh, tap the, the uh, or what is it? Is it a link or is it a phone number? Oh, call the phone number in the, um, yeah, call the phone number down below. You can always or cut on them the screen out or wherever. If they're bad. Let's turn the volume up all the way. Hey, Moses. So I just have a question. Um, or like I have an advice question. How do you guys not give a crap or like care what people say about you? I just feel like your guys' personalities are so like, I don't care what people think, especially Kennedy. I just want to know like how you got there. Was it, were you guys' personalities always like that? Or if you guys just have any advice for like young girls in high school, that's just how you don't care about anyone or anyone's opinions, if that makes sense. Okay. Thank you. I love you guys. Oh, she sounds so sweet. Oh, Uh, could you hear that Kennedy? 
<laughs> like I heard like half she of it. So I heard sweet. like I heard the did, second. Did you hear it towards the end bit. when I made it closer? Oh yeah, because I squished it on the mic more. Uh, basically, she sang and she was re- really directing this towards you, Kennedy. How do you not care about what people think about you, especially when you're in high school? Um, I mean, when I was in high school, I definitely cared about what people thought of me. I think everybody does. I think it's more so just realizing that everybody is insecure. And even if you don't think that someone might seem like it, they are just as aware of everything that you are about yourself with themselves. And I don't know if someone's being, if you don't like someone, stay away from them. I don't know. (laughs) It's just part of life. It's a good answer. Well, here's the thing. I feel like when you're in high school, you don't realize that high school is just a little contained bubble. And when you're in high school, you feel like it's the most important thing in the world. But once you get older, you look back and you realize that there's so much more that you're going to experience. And when it comes to it and you do look back, you'll be like, uh, like you almost can't prevent yourself from feeling like insecure in high school. mm -hmm. Everyone, everyone hates themselves in high school because you're you're forced to be doing everything. You're forced to care about what everyone around you thinks. You're forced to be around people your own age who I've already said before, when you're constantly comparing yourself to them because you're all forced to be in classes together. You're forced to give a presentation in front of everybody. And stuff like that doesn't happen as much in your adult life unless you want it to like you're not in control of your life when you're in high school you're literally forced to be this person and be a student be a a son a daughter whatever and then when you're an adult you just realize that life completely changes and life completely opens up and you can literally do whatever you want yeah i would also remember that it's temporary and a lot of the people that you know in high school you won't know in the next five years or so you might have your close friends that you hang out with but you probably feel pretty comfortable around them everyone else you won't really see anymore you'll see them on facebook once in a while i still go on facebook sometimes and look at people and i'm like holy shit yeah they changed a lot seriously (laughs) too only only hang out with people always your entire life only hang out with people that genuinely make you feel good about yourself if you're hanging out with someone and you're like why do i feel not good when I'm around them or like after I hang out with them, I don't like the way I feel. Energy is so important and it's so real and only surround yourself with people who make you feel like yourself and make you feel appreciated for yourself. I had one close friend in high school and she was pretty much the only person I hung out with. Other than that, I spent so much time alone and really got to know myself and I think that's really important too. So don't feel pressured to go and do social things. Just Ask yourself what you really want and pay attention to who you surround yourself with. Yeah. Yeah. And know that you'll have a lot to look, you have a lot to look forward to in the future. You kind of have to like suffer through high school in a sense. I don't know. That's what I did. (laughs) (laughs) There's really no like, like you'll be, you'll get out of it eventually. It's only temporary. It's four years and you're done. And then you literally forget about it. If people, if people could see, if people could see Brandon in high school, Versus now they understand that high school doesn't matter. Okay. Well, hopefully that answered your question. Next on to the next one. These are fun. That was a good answer, Kennedy. Okay. I love family. Um, My name is Elijah and I have a story and would like a little advice at the end. So, um, oh, crucial for the story. Like I said, I'm 17 and also I am a gay male and this is really crucial. So I would say the story starts my first year of high school. I'm 15. I meet this girl, we're going to call her Kayla. I meet Kayla, and Kayla is friends with this guy, um, Mark. So I'm friends with Kayla, and Kayla's friends with Mark. I'm not friends with Mark, but I know who he is because I go to like a performing art school, so the male population is already really limited, and also he's an attractive male, so like naturally he's known. So I know who Mark is, but we're not really friends. Fast forward to junior year, um, and I have a class with Kayla and Mark. And through Kayla, I became really close to Mark. Me and Mark would leave out a school at lunch to go get lunch together. Um, we would hang out before school, hang out after school. It was just like, we became, we became really close really fast. And I've, I've written this right before. I knew what was going to happen. So I was like, to keep this out of friendship for me, I need to set boundaries. But like, I never gave Mark my number. He would invite me over to his house. I always said no, because I was like, I need to keep this purely like a friendship thing. Because I know myself, I fall quick and I fall fast when I shouldn't fall. So, um, fast forward to the end of the year, and this is going on like all school. 
whole year. Me and Mark just keep going closer. We go out well together. We make plans. And it's just like, it became a lot for me. So by the end of the school year, I'm like, okay, I really, like, I'm 17. I don't know much about love, but, like, I feel like I feel what love feels like at 17 for him. And I'm like, this this can't be happening. And I tell my friends, and I'm like, for my best interest, I need to, like, in a way, ghost Mark because I feel like it would be best for me to, like, stop this crush that I have on the street now. And they said that I was being rude, I was being inconsiderate, and it's not Mark's fault that I fell for him. So I shouldn't, like, hurt him because it would hurt him to lose me as a friend. And I was just wondering, what's the best way to go about a situation like this where I need to distance myself from someone to, like, for my best interest, but also keep their feelings in mind while doing so? Um, Thank you. I also want to say, I'm 17, like I said, I've been watching you guys for what, four or five years, so like 13, 12, and I don't know if I should have been watching you guys that well, but I just want to say thank you for all you've done. Aww. Did, did yeah, you hear hey, that? I'm going to need someone I to summarize this. that because I understood about 10% I'll, of that. I'll summarize it. Basically, yeah. he has a friend that he met through another friend. He started becoming really close with this guy. This guy's a straight male, and he's obviously, he said he's a gay male. And they've been hanging out a lot and becoming really close. And he's gotten to the point where he's starting to feel like he's falling in love with this guy. Um, And the guy's obviously straight. So he's like, he feels like he should cut it off and not be friends with him anymore because he doesn't want to keep falling for him and get to a certain point, whatever. But then his other friends are saying like, that's rude to just cut someone off and not be friends with them. But he doesn't know what to do. Um, I I feel like you have to at least tell Mark how you're feeling and give him the honesty aspect of it. And like, if he still wants to stick around and be friends with you and like, at least you wouldn't, he would know how you're feeling. I mean, he's straight. Yes, but you really never know if you guys are that close. Like maybe he's feeling some sort of way too. And you just don't know it. Cause he hasn't had the chance to open up to you about it. Yeah, um, I agree. I just feel like honesty is always the best in situations like that. If you guys don't stay friends, then so be it. But at least he's not wondering what happened or what he did or why you're not friends anymore. And or, you'll have closure. Yeah. On that as well. And you'll know that you were honest with him. And that you did the best you can. I think I think that it depends on if you actually envision yourself with Mark, if you actually think that you two would be good together and he would make you happy because it, obviously it's really easy to be like, just be honest with him. And if he rejects you, we don't be friends with him. But when you're actually in the situation, it's way harder to put yourself out there like that, especially if you guys don't have a relationship where you talk about how you feel about each other. And if Mark truly is a straight guy, like, I don't know, that could be something that could really be painful to go through. So I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with distancing yourself from him. Obviously, we don't know much about the situation. So we don't, I don't know if Mark's like flirty with you or if he gives you mm-hmm. mixed signals or whatever. But I have also known a friend who is a gay man who's been in the exact same situation. Believe it or not, it happens so much because there's a lot of straight men out there who might you know question things but it's a different experience for everyone and everybody navigates that differently but yeah you kind of have to protect your peace in this situation and put yourself first and ask yourself what you really want if you if he's somebody that you genuinely think would make you happy and could give you what you want then yeah, maybe it's worth it to talk to him about how you feel and have that conversation. But you're also so young and there is more out there. And also you deserve someone who will put themselves out there for you. You shouldn't have to feel like you're chasing someone and and falling into this one-sided thing. Mm-hmm. Well said. Kennedy, maybe you should have went as a counselor for your career as <laughs> That's what she said she wanted to do. She, she said she wanted to be really a psychologist at, if she didn't. She is good at that. Do mm-hmm. do well. She is good I, at I that. Whatever my she problems, does now. I call her. <laughs> I ask myself a lot about my own feelings in situations that I've been in, and 
And also I've realized that it's a lot easier to just, when someone asks you for advice or your opinion or whatever, it's genuinely impossible for you to put yourselves in their shoes because you're not them. You don't know all the little nuances of whatever situation they're in. So the best you can do is is relate to it as close as you possibly can with something that you've been through. I can't put myself in this and like I've never had that kind of experience, obviously. But I think no matter what, you always need to confront some form of difficulty, like no matter what path he chooses, whether he's like doesn't hang out with the person whatsoever or he has that talk with him it's still going to be hard to do either thing. Well, I so, just feel like if you're not honest, though, if you hold feelings in, that's like anything, it's eventually just going to keep brewing inside of you and you're just going to, it's, it's going to yeah, keep Yeah, but at the same time, you. I see why he wouldn't want to say anything because yeah. he might be judged for it. And then well, you've got to deal with the pain of the judgment. I think yeah. it's important to say if you are going to be honest and you are going to bring it up to him, like if, if you were comfortable enough to do that or if you felt like that would make you feel better and like a weight off your chest, it's not necessarily being honest in the sense of like do you feel the same about me right it's more like Getting i just want to let off. you know yeah. i might you know distance myself a bit just because mm. this is how i'm feeling and i'm not saying this to make you feel uncomfortable or feel yeah. like you owe me anything but just to let you know you did nothing wrong but i just feel like i need to protect my peace yeah, like Kennedy go. said and yeah. kind of just take a step back from our friendship for now and like but i, I still think- care about you it would be interesting to even see if he did start to distance himself from Mark, if Mark would even like truly notice it or say anything. Like, I don't know how close they are. It literally reminds me of a sex education episode. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Well, but but the know. thing is, like, I when I think about him, like if someone started doing that to me and we were really close friends, even if I said nothing in my head, I'd be like, F- like, what did I do? Like, why are they not right, exactly. talking to me anymore? And like, obviously... You always come first. You don't owe anyone an explanation if you're doing something that's best for yourself. But I'm just saying if you were comfortable enough and you felt like you were close enough that you could at least say this is why I'm doing it or you know what I mean? I think that that comes comes down to what kind of person. What was his name? Elijah. Yeah. That comes down to what kind of person Elijah is and what his value system, because if you value honesty and transparency and whatever but like communication I don't don't think like I think if the relationship is worth protecting and prolonging then yeah you then you maybe you feel like you owe him honesty but if it's just like if it's more like you feel like you have this intense crush on him and I'm sure him being a straight guy only makes you want him more because it feels like you can't have him so it's like ask yourself where if how real these feelings are and if he's someone who actually treats you really well and you could see loving you, otherwise it's just like you're setting yourself up for rejection and nobody wants to go through that. I, I, I know everyone's different, but I personally think once you make a decision and you follow through with something, you normally feel better afterwards because you're not sitting in that gray area yeah. and rumin- yeah, like ruminating moving. on it constantly. So probably the only, the, uh, the only thing that's actually in your control, because there's a lot of things that are out of your control in this situation. The only thing in your control is when you make the decision. And once you do, then you'll probably be in a different state of mind and you, yeah. you'll yeah. be able to think more mm-hmm. clearly. That's a, that's a really so that's good, the main that's thing. so true. And it's like, also you don't have to necessarily stick with the first decision you make. It's just like, Mm -hmm. I always focus on getting myself through whatever the current problem is at hand day to day. You don't have to make some grand plan. Just, yeah, just go with your instincts. Yeah, you go with your instinct and and just don't sit and constantly ruminate on it because you don't want a month to go by and you're thinking the same thing on loop. Like you didn't Mm -hmm. really solve any problem. Yeah, that's like so anxiety inducing. That's why people get such bad anxiety because they just sit on these these ideas. So you got to just like rip the bandaid off and and make a... Yeah, move. thinking about it's just worse. Just action. Take well, action. exactly. And even if, here's the thing: even if something does go terribly wrong, like over time, you'll probably forget about it. Everything anyway. will work out the way yeah. that it's supposed to. Yeah, it will. it's just but part of life to stumble over yourself. Whatever it is, we support you and good luck. Okay, this one's good. Hi, Lost World. Love you guys. I'm literally obsessed with all of you. My question is mainly for Mama Jen. We often hear that Claudia was the craziest and the most rambunctious teenager. Can we please hear a crazy teenage Claudia story? Also, what were each of the kids' personalities like when they were younger? 
And how are they the same or different now? Love you guys. Bye. Love you. Damn, mom got a question just for her. Yeah, about how rotten I was. Well, first of all, before we go to how rotten you were, because I don't really think you were that rotten. Oh. Uh, half the story. She, she was rotten. I got I half the story every other weekend. Yeah, the one story that I'll tell. But uh, the personalities, that's <laughs> what I'm going to go to, are very similar to all the way back when they were babies. I can see Br- Brandon is the same literally like just as an adult he his brain was always moving he was always trying to like he would always get frustrated if he couldn't figure something out that's today oh yeah i had that experience with kate because when i was working on the app she she impatient man with me well i have this thing where i always need to fix if i have a problem i need to fix it and i will literally tunnel vision until like i will not Right. Like I will only think about it. I will think about nothing else. So I'll right. be completely yep. up in the clouds. Yep. And when I'm hanging out with her, um, like she, she, she knows right away when I'm like in that state. And instead of being like, oh, like, why are you doing this? Blah, blah, blah. She like, she'll help me actually fix it. Well, you would also, like I said, you wouldn't go forward and do anything unless you like really scoped it out and figured out like in the end in your brain probably working like, oh, I can, you can see an end to it. Like you see yourself figuring that out, Mm -hmm. then you'll go do it. Like you would never just go do something without like assessing no, no, the whole I, yeah, situation. I know there's a solution. It's just, it's just the anxiety of like figuring it out immediately. Yeah, which See, would I, stop you. If I didn't from have that, starting I wouldn't something. Be able, yeah, if I it, if I didn't have that though, I wouldn't. I don't think it would. It's like what drives me to finish things at the same time. Yeah, you wouldn't it's give. Like but maybe you could work on it just a little bit. I mean, <laughs> maybe, but maybe not, because I it helps me get shit done. Yes, well, but like to a point, I feel like that you can't like let things like that consume you. Like Jesse's the same way, but I feel like I we've gotten to a point where sometimes it's like you can accept it for right now and like worry about it tomorrow morning or something. Like I don't know. Like if you're spending time with Kate, f- thank God she's patient. That's how I know. Like me and Jesse mesh well, but like if I was ever with someone with your personality, maybe because me and you have similar personalities. <laughs> kill you oh yeah she would absolutely murder I think, you i think claudia claudia is the same pretty much too because she wouldn't really see well, i'm well, not the, the, the thing is once i break out of that state i'm completely present again brandon i feel but, like but it happens I feel sometimes like, i feel like i know what you mean because if, if there's something in my head that's like floating around if like a problem with something i'm working on or whatever i will be in a bad mood until i can resolve it yeah i yeah. mean i think anyone is especially in like what we do. Well, like, I, I think it shows that you really care about it. Like you're that obsessed. Yeah, that there's it, not. It has a lot of meaning. There's not necessarily something wrong with it. I only think that there's something wrong with it when it's like, if it starts interfering with like your quality time with like your significant other or something. Like, mm-hmm. for example, I don't know, like if Jesse, it's freaking the other night, it's nearly midnight and he's like freaking out about some not getting his video back in time. And I'm like, listen, mm-hmm. it's literally time for us to lay down and go to bed and you're sitting in bed typing messages up right now for work like deal with that in the morning well and- he- here's the way i look at it there's things that are in your control like kind of like the what we said before there's things in your control and out of your control mm-hmm. with that situation it's out of your control because exactly. you're not the one editing somebody else's and they have to deliver you the video yeah with this it's when it's something that's fully in my control mm-hmm. i just have to figure it out that's when it eats away at me and, well, I, and i have to figure it out you have it different because it's your app so you can sit there and figure I have more it con- out i have more control over doing it yeah yeah I think you're pretty much the same, too. I mean, yeah. I, I you changed a lot in other ways, but like the core of you is the same. Same thing with Kennedy, except Kennedy went through some stuff. So I feel like Kennedy, she's grown up and matured a lot. And she's always had her moody side. Yeah, but always had her moody side. There's pictures of her with you guys smiling and she's just, you know, frowning <laughs> or looking down at the floor. She doesn't want to do whatever we're doing. <laughs> and... um. <laughs> even that picture you we looked at with mm-hmm. the the uh, black eyed susans mm-hmm. yeah it took take you guys to get like a, i see these black eyed susans this huge field of them and i put you guys i stop my car i get out i take all of you into it there's bugs and there's all kinds of things to step over and weeds and and i'm telling you guys brandon and claudia to like 
smile. And Kennedy's just frowning and looking at me like, what are we doing? And I'm like, the quicker you smile, the quicker we'll, we're going to leave. And so finally, like I still couldn't get a like a, I don't think there's one smiling picture of her no. doing it. She was just miserable. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and then, and artistic wise, same thing. Always loved like, you know, doing art and stuff like that. But I think she the, looks different though. I always find it so yeah, funny how Kennedy looks nothing like when she was a baby. She looks nothing See, I don't like she agree did now. With that because I look you, at her. You look exactly the yeah. same. Yeah, yeah. I I think I really look the same, but I still look at Kennedy's face and I still see like that little girl, that like tiny little. Like, I, I just can't. Well, she looked like me as a baby so much. Like her and I like, are Kennedy, like so similar. Since she was little, she always has this one like blue vein in her <laughs> cheek. <laughs> no but it, it reminds me of like a baby like a baby face and she still has it like you still have like that little that's so I random know. i think i know but like that for some reason that's like what i see like i i've always seen it and like you still mm. have that like I, I don't know when i look at her face i still see like that little girl's face that's and funny the crazy I, claudia story I, Go I was gonna say i don't look at i when i look at you guys i see like who you are today i don't see like younger versions well that's because you. you're younger like yeah i don't you've always I see, been the youngest so I, I, see like I see my little babies i mean i don't I look at you and you. i'm like i still see a little girl but like if i'm looking at you and thinking of what you looked like then like yeah i still think you look the same well that's an interesting mm. question how do you wh wh when you look at your kids how like what age do you perceive do you perceive us now or do you like see us in, I perceive in, in multiple you, ways I at once i perceive you now but multiple ways at once that's weird yeah yeah it's very strange i kind of do that watching with you. it's like I kind of do that yeah. with you too, mom, though, because you've changed as I throughout my life, personality wise. Yeah, so it's, it's like so, not, sometimes really weird. sometimes I see parts of you that remind me of the way I viewed you when I was a kid. And sometimes I feel mm. like you're different from how you used to be. Th that's interesting because I only perceive how you are now. Really? I rarely think about how things used to be. I'm very wow. like, I'm very like, well, uh, present and future Brandon, thinking. I don't think about the past a lot. Well, I think that's probably also because you had a traumatic childhood. <laughs> no, I just don't think about the past that much because it already happened. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, I don't it really was think what about it was. It and then either. moving on. I still see mom as the same person for some reason. Like, I don't compare her to who you were back then. I just, you've always been my mom, like who you are. I don't know. Maybe maybe when I'm eighty, you'll. I spent different. a lot of more time. So. I spent mm -hmm. a lot more time with mom than you guys did, though, when you were growing up. She was like, yeah, my friend. Well, that my when friend. we were little. Well, when you were little, yeah. yeah but that's but like that's like when you were middle school age. Well, that's because you were middle school and we were in high school. But like when we were in middle school, we probably spent a lot of time with mom. Like we had, where else were we going to go? Well, I was spending more time with dad at that age. Kenny was spending more time with mom, and you were spending more time with your friends. Probably yeah, exactly. Doing which yeah. leads in, us perfectly in into the story school, about right. your terrible things. No, that you I did only in high remember school. one though. I, I, That's I, not true. I remember multiple, and if I tell you them, you'll remember them too. Okay, Maybe well, I choose to forget them, or I didn't know. Let mom tell it. The only one that really comes to mind is when I you were sleeping at I don't I don't know whose house I don't know whose house it was, and you told me I said as long as you don't go anywhere, you can go there. And little did I know that. They left the house to go to some college party. No, we just went to the neighbor's house. No, well, some I, older I have guy. A good one. I have a some good one. older guy. And the next day I had a shoot because I'm a makeup artist. So I was on set and I get a phone call. I think you called me, right? No, I think yeah. I texted you and I was like, I'm really or some no, a mother didn't call me. I, can't I told you I was really hungover and you're like, oh, it happens, whatever. You weren't mad. But I was like, but how then are you? You found out that I right. Her mom told you what I really did. Right. Right. So and you were I just trying to break that. the ice, but then the right. I knew I talked to an adult at some point that told that me the night truth. That rough. <laughs> Throw up on her carpet. I was hammered. I grabbed a towel and tried scooping it up in the towel and throwing it in the laundry basket. And then apparently I looked at <laughs> mom and I said, I don't know what's wrong with her. Like, I'm completely fine. And then <laughs> turned around and threw up in the toilet. Oh my God. And then I remember <laughs> mom. I was like waking up throughout the night and her mom was like rubbing me on the back while I'm like violently puking i was more upset that you were sick and that i was at work and couldn't leave to like right at that split second to come get you but and that of course that you lied but no, you were really only mad that i lied you weren't mad that i was hungover i would i, I wouldn't want you sick though i it worries I mean, me well yeah but you weren't like you weren't upset okay, about wait, that. Do no, you guys I remember? I like, wasn't upset that she went and got I, I just wasted and I just up. remember this. I think it was that. It, it might have been that time. It might have been. No, I think it, it was actually a different time when you were younger, Claudia. And I all I remember is that you came home wearing that 
long sleeve shirt, like green or blue shirt with a num- pink number on it or something. Do you remember that? I remember that shirt. And I don't remember. I remember, I remember both it. Brandon and Claudia were hung over from doing something. And they both said that they went to Buffalo Wild Wings and got food poisoning. <laughs> Oh my God, I remember that. Oh yeah, that's funny because I was about to tell that. This story is one of the best um, because dad, you know, bless his heart. He he stuck with my story and and <laughs> believed me even though he Shame on you. I was like, please don't tell my mom, even though you probably wouldn't have cared. No, probably not. He took, we went to dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings that night, whatever. Then when we got back to the house, her dad had alcohol in his cabinets and once he went to bed we took it was literally a bottle of Bacardi and I remember I was just drinking out of this bottle like it was a water bottle oh my god and before I knew it first of all poor she was being loud and I remember hitting her in the head with a book and to get her to be quiet we were literally probably 14 or 15 we were young and then I remember I was like literally shivering on the bathroom floor because I was so sick and it was like I remember seeing him because I guess we w- ha- he woke up because we were loud or something. I see him over me, like, looking at me. And he was like, are you all right? Like, is there anything I can get you? And I was like, get out. <laughs> you said that to him. I think I told him to get oh out because I didn't want anyone in there. <laughs> I was just, like, sitting in there with me, like, doing whatever. I don't know. I was fine. The next day, we were fine. That was, I think that was the first time I, like, really drank. Yeah. God, I'm so, I'm so grateful that you guys don't, like, I don't have to worry about you with the drinking thing like that. Like everybody's pretty responsible. My Claudia system. doesn't even drink. I got anymore. it on my system. I don't. So I don't either. Early. Like, yeah, you don't. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't. Like every time I, the only time I will now is if we go to dinner at a nice restaurant and they have like cool right. drinks to try. But like, <laughs> that's like the furthest I'll go because I have learned my lesson one too many times. And I also every time I'm like, oh, maybe I'll drink for like this holiday or something. Like it comes down to it, and I'm like. Oh, I really just don't want it. I don't tell want me, it. tell me if you think this is bad parenting. Okay, this is a tactic that I might use if I ever have a kid. If the kid wants to drink and they're like 15 or something, I'll be like, sure, you can drink. I'll give them the alcohol. They can have as much as they want. They'll probably get sick and throw up, but they'll go through a terrible experience early on and then never want to do it again. I don't well, know. the thing is, that didn't help me. Yeah, you don't want to go through it again, and then the next it helped week, me. The next weekend comes and you're like, let's get fucked. When up. I was younger, I thought you Brandon, could drink infinitely. Exactly. And I, we would just keep drinking. We would finish Brandon, a bottle. We alcohol literally this big. went to dinner with you and Kate, and you. We stayed for five hours. We drank two bottles of wine, and each of us had three or four drinks. Yeah, but I know how much I can drink now, and I was fine the next That's day. That's because you started young. Yeah, but Maybe. that can also just go the I'm, wrong way. It can build us like a Brandon, kid's that's tolerance because, up, and that's because you've been around Russians for too long. <laughs> <laughs> right there, you go. Yeah, Russians are crazy. They man. know how to you drink. You go to a Russian dinner, and there's like three bottles. They of know how we to drink. We went to a Russian wedding last, uh, Nick Corey and I, and every single table had a bottle of vodka, bottle of tequila, and like a bottle of um, uh, some like Japanese. Yeah, and they something. also have a ton of food. To eat with well, yeah, it. Yeah, you keep eating the food. And yeah. That, but that's why Russian guys get huge pot bellies. <laughs> they do? Yeah. Eat, drink, eat, drink, eat, drink. That's eat, the drink, Russian eat, way. Drink, sauna. That's what they say. Yeah. Exercise. Yeah. Oh, I remember Claudia. This like is the, the, this is the worst story that I remember of Claudia. Well, she's friends with the person now, so it's all good. Oh, the fight? But Claudia and Devora got into a fight oh, with yeah. their friend. And and like it was like a brutal oh my fight God, Rip, yeah. pulling each other's hair and shit yeah my cousin apparently it was at a public pool and my cousin <laughs> was it? Some, what some or some pool i thought it, oh no no, no 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 where you guys did it no 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 this is the part i know my cousin was at a pool and some lifeguard he heard the story from some <laughs> lifeguard <laughs> this is how it traveled it didn't ha- yeah. that's why i thought oh it happened at a pool no it, the whole story traveled to this pool and then my cousin called me who had nothing to do with anything and I'm like he's like I think Claudia got in a fight and I was like <laughs> oh my god so I had to ask her like what really happened I think I told you right away what happened oh there was, yeah. a, video? Was, like, there was a video throw oh that's yes, right you guys threw uh shot she th- didn't she throw a shot no, glass no, no, at that's you? a different story with her? I wasn't involved in that situation that oh. was like me and Claudia were me and school. Claudia were two very different type of teenagers <laughs> No, yeah, the Katie reason I got in that. the fight, which is funny because literally like we are friends with her now. And, you know, after that point, I don't know, maybe we didn't talk for a few years after high school. Who knows? But we're all adults now and no one cares. Now it's like a funny story. But it was <laughs> basically like this whole thing started. We didn't start the fight. We weren't the type of people to start that just because we we weren't like that. We didn't want to fight anyone. 
Um, but like we kept hearing people at this party like say so and so doesn't like you. They don't want you here. This and that. Um, and we ended up getting in this fight. Well, Devora, I think she got swung at first. So she was like, if someone swings at me, then I'm going to do something about it. So <laughs> whatever, whatever happened, they end up on the ground. And I was like, or no, they weren't on the ground. They were like standing. But I think I was like, if I don't help her, she's going to be upset that so I didn't you help went her. And pulled her hair. So I went and pulled her hair and yanked it to the ground. And I fell to the ground. I'm like rolling around on the ground in the dark in the middle of this neighborhood court. And then, and you're all screaming. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, we're all screaming. I'm screaming, "Don't touch my best friend!" And then a video surfaced <laughs> <laughs> the next day, and I was like, "My life that there's a video." Was it going around the whole school? Like everyone's watching it? Probably. I don't know. My like cousin some saw random it. person the I video? didn't even know. Yeah, Elon. It. My cousin Elon saw it and told me. He said, it. "God, he was in a fight." There's like a video. We, were we in high school? Oh we, oh, we were seniors and you were a freshman? Probably. Oh, we, it was probably going around the whole school then. I think my hair was like long and blonde, so I might have been like a... I think you sophomore. were a sophomore. I don't even think people knew that I was her brother in I high school. I had to be a sophomore or junior because one of our friends was driving us. And obviously she had to be at least 17. Because you you laid low and she didn't. You weren't in high school anymore, but I think still like everyone... Well, when I was the seeing- teachers knew. The teachers knew because we had the same last name, but I don't think people knew that like we were siblings. Cause, cause, like, Some people I, did. Everyone knew who she was. No one knew who I was. You were also friends with like all the younger popular. Gr- you, she hung out with the older kids. She hung out with people like in my grade. Yeah. When the when I got um, like way too drunk at Steph's house, I had gone over. You bleep his name, but I went over. So that's mm. where we got. It was. Who else was there? I don't remember. Maybe like Tyler or something. And they were giving us like bourbon or whiskey. I don't even know. We were just drinking it. I remember I was rolling around on the ground and I told Steph, I was like, we need to go back. It was just right across the street. We didn't like go anywhere far. We yeah, the other two have- definitely didn't do anything like that. You guys weren't. It's just me. They were pretty. You guys no. were pretty tame. At least yeah. from what I know. Oh, you know everything. You did all your stuff in... They did everything in secret, and I know you did. No, no, no. Kenny, I didn't you did do anything. Some, some, some stories. No, I don't. Nothing? I, no, I didn't do anything bad. I thought bad. you had some stories. No. I would just complain about being bored like a little bitch. I, I remember mean, I would, sitting in your house going, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm so bored. I would talk like, to, Shut up! <laughs> I would talk to strangers yeah. on Omegle, but that was it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... that's uh. I did that, too. Kind of weird. Everyone did that. that yeah, oh, I remember you doing something weird like that where I got upset because, oh, didn't some father write me or some kid wrote me? Somebody wrote me. Uh, yeah, and said, may I f- your daughter? Yeah. And I'm Mom, like, what? He was just being an asshole because I like rejected him. Do you know him why I never got into anything bad? Because I never cared about boys enough. Right. It's all centered oh, around I boys. I cared about boys, partying, fun. Should, should we do one more real quick? No, How no. long has it been? It's been an hour. I've done so much. Okay. So guys, if you want to leave a, a voice message and have a, a, there might be a chance that we play it as long as you don't say something that's too weird <laughs> up and then, and then we'll, yeah, we'll respond And to even it. then we still may play it. So call the number in the description <laughs> or on screen and maybe it will be your lucky day and you'll be featured on Walsh World. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye. Don't, uh, don't do drugs. Okay. Bye.